Welcome to That's Good Sports. I am Brandon Perna. Happy 420 basketball fans. Today we're doing basketball highlights. That's right. I'm going to smoke weed and then read NBA highlights. Well, not read. I'm just going to smoke weed and talk about them. High as F. Fuck. High as fuck, as the kids say. And I don't smoke a lot of weed. I don't know a lot about basketball, so this could get interesting. I'm going to smoke a Indica from Good Chemistry, if you want to sponsor this channel. And this weed is called Church. Take me to church, I smoke like a dog. Woof, woof, cause I'm high as a kite. Never felt closer to God than when smoking some church. Some tasty nugs. Let's do basketball. Hey! Hey! Get out of there! <laughs> cat got in here. <laughs> Let the cat into the room. Okay, we're doing NBA highlights from the playoffs. Just a smorgasbord of whatever cool stuff happened. This is Cavs Pacers right now. I know the Cavs are up 2-0. This was the game that they went up 2-0 on. What is LeBron James doing this game? Does he do anything cool? That's my first question. Ooh, that dunk was sick. Who is that, Paul George? Paul George is pretty good. I don't like that he has two first names because uh, it, it competes with Chris Paul. Oh, what a dunk. What a dunk. Larry Bird fucking hates that dunk. He's just like, LeBron, man, I'm trying to, I'm trying to win here with the Pacers. Oh, and then James does it to him again. He saw Larry shaking his head and he said, I'm gonna get you. You old fucking bag of bones. Anybody ever wonder what Larry Bird's favorite bird is? Bet it's a cockatoo. Ooh, Paul George drops the heat. Basketball, I'm realizing, uh, moves very fast. This game moves very fast, especially after you hit that bowl a couple times. I can't even keep up with all the action. No wonder people love the NBA. Oh, look at this. What does he do? He hurt his wrist. It almost was something cool. He was about to do a cool move. I'm going up for the cool one, guys. Oh, no, you hit my leg. And why guy pushed his wiener? I think that guy pushed his wiener. He hurt his wrist. Chances are he's fine because it's basketball, and you can't really get a serious injury in basketball. Stevenson said that he got elbowed, but I think Kevin Love got the foul there. Kevin Love goes put it up. Oh, shitty shot with another foul. LeBron James, another chance pass he passes it to kevin love could have been a new but kevin love doesn't do cool things he just tries to get all those fouls kevin love did nothing but get fouled which i guess is important in the nba kyrie ooh, breaks an ankle almost his own i'm surprised more players don't break their own ankles doing those hard cuts 0.2 seconds left he throws almost a full car shot that goes in stevenson Ooh, hates those elbows likes those long that was impressive Cavs easily won. Um, the good news for Indiana Pacers fans, uh, you have Paul George. Like I said, he's very talented. You know, with Paul George on your team, you guys are just four, four starters away from being a legitimate contender. So if you can go out and get those four starters, uh, Pacers, they will be in the finals next year with four new superstars. Now that's a Denver nugget. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it now. Toronto, Milwaukee with a, oh, that guy got, he got rejected. Well, that's Serge Ibaka with the fucking, get that ball out of my face. I don't even know much about Boston Celtics. Do know they play in Boston. That was an all right dunk. I've seen better in my day. Blake Griffith. Ooh, okay. Okay, Blake. Pretending like you're gonna... Almost jump over that guy, but realize you couldn't. It's all right, dunk. Another dunk. How impressive is this dunk? Is that Atentancupo? Giannis Atentancupo? Is that Giannis Atentancupo? The hardest name to say, but the guy came to play. But that put the game away for them. Oh, no, wait. Or did that just tie it? Was that Milwaukee? No, that's Toronto. <laughs> telling you guys, this is confusing. Chris Paul, alley oops. Oh, shit. That's early in the game. It's like, save some for later, guys. 
Don't do the cool stuff too early because then you'll be really tired later. Based on these two highlights, I would say Chris Paul is the best. Uh, oh, is that Michael Jordan? Well, based on these two highlights, I'd say Chris Paul is the best alley-oop assister. He doesn't have a sister. I'm saying he's the best assister for alley-oops. Jordan. I feel like that name should be retired from the NBA. I feel like Michael Jordan's name should not be able to be showcased on any other player's uniform. So if you have the last name Jordan and you enter the NBA, you just have to give up your name. I am stoned here. Okay, show me something I haven't seen before. Ooh, Kawhi Leonard, end of the game dunk. That's a strong dunk. That is a big dick dunk. That's how you finish a game, kids. Uh-oh, yep, it has been confirmed. Rajan Rondo, he is a member of the CIA. Do you have a, an electric mechanical bee that just went inside of your head? I saw this on Black Mirror and if the bee gets in your head, you're dead. Does he have an ear infection? Why would they put this shot in the highlights? Is it a signal to world leaders? It's a weird shot to put in the highlights, that's all I'm saying. Jimmy Butler, oh yeah. Scotty Pippen's like, Jimmy Butler's better than me, but people will always think I was better because I played on the championship team. Because I played with Jordan, the guy's jersey you should retire. I really, I like Jimmy Butler. I would say he's probably my favorite player in the NBA because he and Demarius Thomas are friends and uh, he's a Broncos fan. So good job, Jimmy. Chicago, I got nothing wrong with the Bulls. So yeah, Jimmy Butler, best player in the NBA. A lot of people say Jimmy Butler could surpass Jordan pretty soon uh, because he's so good like Michael Jordan and he had like the best taste in football teams. I mean, a lot of people say that. And if I'm being honest, based on what I've evaluated about Jimmy Butler, it's that I think, I don't think he's the best ever. Call me crazy for saying this, but I don't think Jimmy Butler is the greatest basketball player to ever live. A lot of you are saying that. A lot of you are saying he is the best of all time. I've heard those arguments almost every time I turn the TV on about basketball, but based on what I've seen, I can tell you right now, he's not the greatest player of all time. That's a much bigger debate. Um, and as stated earlier, it's Michael Jordan. And anybody wearing a Jordan jersey, they should have to change their name is all, is the, the biggest point I wanted to get across tonight was that, you know, the NBA playoffs are happening. They are, it's gonna be a while before they're done, but they are happening very much so. Um, and that watching playoffs, you've got San Antonio, the Warriors, the, the two teams I think will probably win it all, but it's that Jimmy Butler isn't the greatest basketball player of all time. I don't know how many times or different ways I can say that tonight before I convince you that Jimmy Butler isn't the greatest of all time. I mean, you've got Steph Curry, you got the Warriors playing tonight, you know, and it looks like early on they're handling the Trailblazers. But if Draymond Green's playing well, Kevin Durant's hurt, that to me just says that Jimmy Butler is not the greatest basketball player of all time. A lot of interesting things you can look at technically happening in the NBA playoffs, um, the, there's, the crossover dribbles this year are better. Uh, if I'm comparing the crossover dribbles to 2016, 2015, and even 2014, some of you may remember a big year for crossover dribbles. Dribbles th This year, they have been better in the playoffs, and by a lot. Three-point shooting, as we know, is no longer allowed in the NBA, but uh, the teams seem to be responding well. You know, they'll still shoot it from back there. It's a pride thing. Uh, David Stern, you know, he put his foot down and he said, no, Tony Romo, you cannot play. But, and that made Tony Romo, his feelings got really sad. So he had to retire from the football because David Stern wouldn't let him play basketball. So Tony Romo just said, I can't play any fucking sport then. And so he retired. Well, in the finals, you know, it's probably gonna be Chicago. They're playing well people didn't expect this or Cleveland from the East and then the West you know it's Golden State it's the Golden State Warriors are gonna be there but I'm gonna say it's San Antonio so Golden State yes San Antonio I told you so Phil uh, Phil Jackson is a real bad guy like he hates Carmelo Anthony just because Carmelo Anthony had to 
let his wife divorce him because he was fucking a stripper. So that made Phil Jackson mad. <laughs> it's like, Phil, come on. It's the NBA, man. It's 2017. You got to just let the players be players. That's all we're saying, Phil. But, you know, Melo still, like, if Jimmy Butler's the greatest in the NBA this year, Melo was it last year, and he'll be it next year. So whoever gets Carmelo Anthony, is that's, the team's going to be set up in a real good shot to win it, you know? You can smoke your drugs, not feel like thugs. Embrace those nugs, never wear Uggs. If you see a sad person, give them hugs. That's my rap. That's my, that's my marijuana rap. You better watch your game, Kendrick. I'm coming after you. I don't even pay attention to rap music, but I know you're a big deal. This is your brain. This is your brain on marijuana. Oh, the light bulb went off. I've got a whole bunch of cool ideas now. Oh, I just don't feel like doing them. Fuck you, government. Thanks for watching the 420 high lights. They're high lights because I am high while we do it. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, That's Good Sports. Give me a follow on Twitter, at Brandon Perna. Uh, and that's it. That's all I'm going to ask of you today. So just enjoy your day. I hope a lot of stoners had a lot of fun on 420.